see the levels. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, those were the CO levels. <laughs> oh no, it's just completely, completely unrelated. You just got decapitated. Just got <laughs> fucking shot. I'm sorry. That was a very misleading way for me to say it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You have to press it twice to get it to record. <laughs> no. Is it? It's recording. I see red numbers counting up. <laughs> Why did you press it twice and it started recording? I did. I pressed it once and it didn't do anything, and I pressed it to meet your trice and then it did. Mmm. That's, that's, that's a fucking. That's a fucking deep cut because Demetrius Trice played basketball for five years on Wisconsin, and I don't think he's in the league right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's like the ultimate. Le- <laughs> that's a bad day, but for a life. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure he owns a Bass Pro Shop or something. That sounds awesome. That's, that is a good life, though. Ex-pro football player, own a Bass Pro Shop, beat your wife. Love it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, he's basketball, so not beat your wife. Probably not Cheat beat your on wife. your wife. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Way better life. I mean, he, she's only your wife because you got her pregnant anyway. Yeah. I've seen the WNBA sketch on SNL oh. and extrapolated. She was trying to lock it down and fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this guy's a winner, and now he's unemployed. <laughs> he owns a Bass Pro Shop. Uh, the Big Pyramid one. Ooh, that's a good... If he does own that one, good job. I dude. mean, if you own the Pyramid Bass Pro Shop, you are a lizard. You are They don't the, let you do that without putting lizard blood in you. They are. You are the Bass Pro. <laughs> <laughs> the Pro of Bass. I'm Kel- very pro Bass. I'm Kelly, not anti-Bass. you really watching me struggle to scoop a single thing of smoothie. <laughs> yeah, it's, I feel like you've gotten it out several times and were unsatisfied and put it back. <laughs> And I hope that felt good, because it took 20 minutes. I only got the pop part. <laughs> She's so fucked up. She only eats the top part of a parfait. Hmm? The top part. Hmm? She's so fucked up, she calls the head the top part. Oh, yeah. Okay. My wife left me for the Dune child, and I'm offended. It's, it's how John Mulaney sounds. <laughs> it is crazy when your deep cuts are too deep, even for me. That's a red flag. It was <laughs> the name of a comedy album we have listened to together. All right, that's fair. <laughs> it is, it is I bad. have deep cuts. That was not one. <laughs> it is bad that your baseline for deep cuts is also retarded. <laughs> so I'll just Yeah, miss no, my baseline up. for deep cuts is like, re- remember that one Whitest Kids You Know sketch that you cannot find as its own video <laughs> and have to send a very long video of? <laughs> Which one was the... It was the last one where it's the guys pitching terrible TV shows and yeah. it's these two kids are like, man, our babysitter is so hot. But she'd never make out with us unless we forced her to. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> A lot somebody. of parents were lied to about what their child actors would be doing in order to get on with <laughs> Not even kids. lied to, dude. Child, or just told, like, your child's fuck. going to sexually assault a baby. There was, yeah, there was, oh, there was fucking. Was somebody like John Oliver, but not John Oliver, did one where it's like, we just made parents sign a consent form that their baby was going to be pretend shit on. You know, thing. <laughs> You would not, uh, hundreds of people <laughs> said yes. To just Did they to even the need credit. to say pretend? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it probably would have just cut it by half. <laughs> no, but it was crazy. There's like, so this is how many parents, it was like a duffel bag full of fucking consent forms. This is how many parents agreed to have their baby shit on. Co- covered <laughs> in mashed potatoes dyed brown. <laughs> exactly. This is how many people were like, yeah, that's fine for a thousand dollars. By the way, you're not getting off the hook for this shit. You lol niced me one minute after <laughs> I sent you a three-minute video. <laughs> it was not a three-minute video. It was longer than after you sent it to me. I literally was going to bed. <laughs> so don't watch it. Don't lol nice me. No, I I'm was a goddamn setting, adult. <laughs> I was setting my phone down, going to bed, and you sent me that. I'm like, no, I'm just I'm going no, to no, sleep. No, no, no. No, you weren't like, no, I'm going to sleep. You were like, I'm going to fucking patronize this piece of shit. <laughs> well, I and had then go to bed. the message. I wasn't going to just be like. It's not Snapchat, which is a hellish app, by the way, for causing anxieties. <laughs> no, but I would have forgotten to respond and never responded. That would have been just leave you on red. Also, fine. It would not have made, it would not have pissed me off and made me worry about the state of our friendship so that I demanded we record today instead of tomorrow. I spent. Hours last night <laughs> contemplating. Does he well, I mean that, but also <laughs> should I David it? Bowie being featured on his own song on the Shrek soundtrack, the what? Shrek Two soundtrack. Are you aware of this? What? No. I had a rough night last night. <laughs> I could tell <laughs> from the messages I woke up to. <laughs> 
<laughs> How dare you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my messages started like No. So uh the uh I think it's changes. It's changes. David Bowie's song changes. That's mm-hmm. on the Shrek soundtrack, but it's not by David Bowie. It's by Butterfly Boucher. But you know who fucking shows up halfway through the song? David okay. Goddamn Bowie. <laughs> Just to fuck with you. If I'd been high, I would be dead. Why did they? Mike Myers I think is that a they chaos were like, demon. <laughs> well, they did a bunch of different songs on the Shrek soundtrack that were covered by people. Yeah. And I think David Bowie was is just a cool guy. <laughs> He's just like, can I feature on it? Wait a second, guys. I like Shrek. <laughs> can we do something with this? David Bowie definitely likes Shrek. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, my first exposure to David Bowie was when an astronaut covered uh, Moon Age Daydream. or An actual astronaut? Yeah, no, Chris Hadfield in space did Space Oddity. He did a cover of Space Oddity. What? And That's then so fucking cool. And whatever recording company tried to take it down, and David Bowie was like, you pieces of shit, it's my <laughs> song, and it's staying up. That's awesome! Yeah, who... Okay, how do you go about taking down an astronaut's YouTube cover and feel good about yourself I'd the be, next day? It's, no, because they, because <laughs> the, the Beatles should own their music, and so should Motley Crue, and so should David Bowie. <laughs> the only people universally recognized as heroes, but no, everyone, there's no one that doesn't. Nobody's like, like man, these fucking astronauts <laughs> shooting all these black teens. Nobody <laughs> says they that. don't do that. <laughs> they don't. Maybe they were in the Air Force and you know bombed a wedding or some shit, but now, mm, but now they're, they're in space. astronauts and they're great people. Well, it's and too bad they're employees like, of SpaceX now instead of like parts mm-hmm. of the government. But yeah, the because also what bad. we needed is more privatized parts. The privatized parts are fine. It's the parts run by the government that are a big that issue. are bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, the privatized that ones. are really destroying the world. Really, <laughs> like they might not be run great, but they're not destroying the world. The DMV. I have a fucking license. Do you have a license? Yeah, and everybody we're has both a goddamn stupid. license, and and we're dumb, and that's the bar. <laughs> By the way, the DMV's not that bad. I actually that's like a fucking psyop by right wing comedians that I had to go to the DMV and stand in line for 20 whole minutes and then talk to a black lady and I wanted to die. Yeah, I just bring a book. It's fine. It's not hard. It's yeah. not hard to go to I the bring DMV. A, and now they have like the waiting line too where it's like get a number and then sit down like a deli counter. Bring yeah. a fucking book. I the was DMV's there fine. for a few hours once. I had a good book. It was fine. I swear to God, it's surreptitious propaganda. <laughs> where they're trying to be like, everyone's like, hey, don't you fucking hate the DMV. That's what socialism is. <laughs> and then everyone's like, I vote for Mitch McConnell. Because I mildly hate the DMV. I've been frustrated at the DMV when you bring the wrong shit. That sucks. Cause that, and they're not going to help you. If you no, they tell you to eat an ass. Which it's because you do have to wait like an hour to find out you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... That blows. Just Google it first. But maybe the maybe the DMV did suck in 1995. Maybe it did. You probably did because now they send you a letter that says, "Bring this, you fuck." <laughs> and if bring you, this, and if you can read, you can go to the DMV. Exactly. Well, and if, if you can't read, go do other things. I mean, don't you go drive. To probably. Well, no. You a lot of the drive. signs have words on them. Well, I'm saying English specifically. So you should. I guess, but because I, mean, I, I, I would drive in a foreign country. Fuck you. Well, yeah, do it. <laughs> do, do tourists have to go to the DMV? That'd be funny. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do passports here. You just have to go to the DMV. <laughs> I'd rather die. No, no, no. You're not in America. The DMV isn't that bad. <laughs> Honestly, probably a thing. Just like healthcare everywhere but here is fine. The DMV is probably like super good in Europe. Oh, yeah. You go you go to a DMV in Germany and like, oh, well, God. first of all, you're German, so you Germany. have your, your birth certificate and everything just in your wallet. And, <laughs> and then, stapled to your chest. <laughs> yeah. And, and then some like, numbers on your arm. And then you, you walk in and you're like, oh, no, I have forgotten my... See, government does not allow you to have forgotten something. <laughs> Here is what you need. We have it in a fucking holster. That was... A comic spit we saw. It was. I'm stealing a bit from a comic who I, I don't think not. has any specials. So I can't uh, give you a name, man. I don't remember either. He was uh, he was Hispanic but looked white. One of them. <laughs> Felipe Esparza. That Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He was, was fat and had long hair and was very funny about Netflix and Germans. Different bits. Did he have the Latinx one? I don't think. That's Tom Segura. No, no, no. There was a comedian we saw in New York that had a Latinx special, an HBO Latinx special. Oh, no. First of all... (laughs) I was just saying his race and then his special. First of all... Yeah, he had an uh, Irish special. First of all, Latinx is what I get when I go to South America. Nice. Second of all, that was a different guy to the other show, the worst show. The vegan show. The vegan show. The vegan restaurant was better than the show. It was good. 
It's a good vegan restaurant. Go to New York and uh, go to the Comic Strip Live. And uh, Ellis Island is all right. And then go home. That's it. We'll go, or go to Brooklyn. Uh, go to One Star. Go to one. Go to the bar. One star. The logo looks like this. You oh, can't yeah. see it, but you all know it's one star. Go, <laughs> go on my wrist. Go to uh, Brooklyn for just go to Brooklyn. Fuck, I mean, just go to fuck Brooklyn. Manhattan. Go to Brooklyn. Honestly, unless you want. There's pay. no airports in Manhattan, so just don't even bother crossing that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's no airport. Uh, I guess it's a pretty. No, they uh, they're both on Long Island. Yeah. So the better Long I- Brooklyn's on Long Island, right? Yeah. But just go to Brooklyn. I think Long Island's bad. Well, Brooklyn's good. So go there. But like the rest of it. You can see a lot no, of No, Staten sh- Island. I'm thinking of Staten Island. Because that's well, yeah, what Pete Davidson said, and I trust him very much. That's where statutory rape island is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> should be part of Jersey. Staten Island. More like statutory rape island. That's my campaign running for New York. <laughs> you're, really, you're really undercutting the bit by <laughs> crab clawing a fork and trying <laughs> trying to eat a parfait, but not quite succeeding. It hurts immensely to move my hand. <laughs> Why did you wrap up all three fingers this time? Oh, I have blisters on my hand now, too. Oh, that's good. No, it's not. Why? Are you bad at wrapping uh, it? <laughs> no, I'm bad at rap. But I mean, yeah, we are. <laughs> Correct. No, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, I broke my pinky punching a fridge. We told that story on the live podcast. Yeah. Then this will so come out after up. that. I hope. <laughs> Unless we fuck up. <laughs> Which is a real opportunity. <laughs> we might just post- Now that you say that. <laughs> oh, we're live streaming. Well, either our last episode or our next episode, we, we talked about- The echoey one with the horse dicks. Yeah. A lot of horse dicks. And a, and a museum of penises. And a museum of <laughs> mainly the whale penis. Uh-huh. Uh, so, God, we really do need to release this second because now we're <laughs> referencing the last one. <laughs> the live show. <laughs> Just um, s- sitting on Tatooine like, oh, fuck, Hoth was crazy. <laughs> exactly what we're doing right now. Um, so I broke my pinky, uh, and because of a broken pinky, they give you a cast. And the cast gave me a rash, but not your average everyday rash. Uh, you know, it's my, worse than your average rash. <laughs> my hand bubbled up. The whole backside of my hand was one blister, one large, disgusting blister. Which is a good, Have good, health, good helpful thing. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> have you seen it? Yet? No, I have not seen it. I was unaware of this entire development. I'm not gonna take off the wrapping, so I'll show you a picture. I don't want to see it in real life. Uh, yeah, it's grosser in real life. So the back of my hand looks like um, looks like uh, the guy. I mean, who like fell. someone who got burned? Like lava. It, it looks like it's still lava. So that's the. Yeah, that's not how hands are supposed to look. I only saw it for a brief second, but that's enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna show you the gross picture. There's a really gross one in here. You should pop it. No. Stop it right now. <laughs> that's how you get it. That's not how hands fucking go. Fucking infected. It looks like, um, hmm. My hand looks pregnant, and on top of my hand looks like Freddy Krueger's face right before the scarring had finished healing. Yeah, it looks like Freddy Krueger got hit with a face hugger. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. It looks like Freddy Krueger had recently tried to use an ironing, or an iron as a telephone. That's <laughs> a, <laughs> it. looks Which bad. is how we got that way. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Freddy Krueger just did it. Just dunce. a fucking idiot. <laughs> just, a dunce. just a phone ringing in the other room, and he picks up the iron he's currently <laughs> using on that striped sweater and goes, Hello? Oh, I'm getting killed, teenagers! <laughs> The reason he visits you in his dr- in your dreams is because that's the only way he can figure out how to get to you. He doesn't know how Google Maps works. <laughs> like, he invented quantum tunneling through because, your subconscious because you can't use fucking MapQuest. <laughs> he just couldn't figure it out. Somebody tried to show him how a phone works, and he just freaked out and killed Well, him. he kept trying to hit it, but he was stabbing the phone every time. So he's like, God damn it. I'm God just going to fucking kill teenagers that want to fuck. So half of him is he's dumb, and the other half is now he has knife hands, so the learning curve is even harder. For- I was saying that I was assuming that Freddy Krueger, even before... Before he was a serial killer, had the knife hands. Like that mm. was just a, that was just a little quirk and affectation that he got to seem cool in college, and he never got rid of it. And then his face got horrifically burnt, and he decided, I'm gonna use these knife hands to kill teenagers who fuck. Uh, like pretending to like the Clash when you're trying to fuck a girl, but with him, it's nice f- knife fingers. I actually like the Clash, and I don't fuck that much, so that seems yeah like a bad way to wrong. do it. <laughs> No, I just, it, I, I'm just saying the Clash, I don't think, is the one you pretend to like. I think you pretend to like Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, Other than that one good like, song. Pretending to like knife fingers to fuck is essentially what he's doing. If she's got knife fingers, I would back on out of that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would... girl from Edward Scissorhands, it's gonna hurt. Don't, don't. <laughs> I like the idea of um, 
Freddy Krueger in college. Just like trying to figure out who he is with his knife hands and fuck up face. <laughs> Maybe I'll work in the kitchen. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I fucking geography 101. I hit. Oh, I just killed someone again by accident. I was trying to pat them on the back, and I, their heart is on my middle finger now. <laughs> and there's a flyer for serial killer camp on the wall, and that's like his big moan. He's like. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, <laughs> and then the theme music starts. <laughs> the serial killer club walks in. It's like Jason Voorhees. <laughs> fucking, Finally, I found head. a place where I can be me. <laughs> and they do like one of those Netflix shows about how it's okay to be gay, except it's about how it's okay <laughs> to be a serial killer. Which I'm shocked they haven't done yet, and they to- should totally do. I'd watch the shit out of that. Well, could, no, Netflix doesn't know it's funny. Mm. <laughs> they think Love Simon and Love Victor are brave affirmations for queer people and not very very funny stupid things <laughs> if they understood that they would do one for serious if you want to do a good gay movie i love you philip morris that's a good gay that movie. Is a very good very good gay movie i know what to do to blonde haired blue-eyed queers in that yard i like it <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good movie <laughs> oh, yeah. my favorite line in that movie is well do it then come in my ass <laughs> in the same tone as you won't <laughs> <laughs> i love i love you philip morris it's very good it's a great fucking movie Oh, either you're straight on the inside or I'm gay. <laughs> it's one of the other. No, I'm straight on the outside. That's the weird thing. Oh, yeah, that is weird. Right? I do love I Love You, Philip Moore. I also love Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I don't know that which one. Which is, I mean, I'm sure there's some internet forum where they're insisting that they're gay together. Is it Rango for the gays? No, it's a classic cowboy movie. <laughs> so Rango for the gays. No, Rango is Rango <laughs> for the gays. Oh, okay, touche. <laughs> you win this round. Um... I was gonna, Have you oh, seen yeah, Freddy Krueger in... Wait, no, we got to do, do more Freddy Krueger in college. Freddy Krueger in college? Come on. We did. We barely touched it. It's good. <laughs> well, oh, God. We we don't have that tool that you need to tap the keg. Can I help? <laughs> but they're not cool And then the about keg it. explodes and kills them all. Right. And he's like, this is supposed to be he's my like, shining movement. Well, that wasn't what I wanted, but and I then, do feel exhilarated. <laughs> and then Jason Voorhees comes up behind him, puts an arm around him with a giant piece of keg sticking out of his forehead <laughs> that is not affecting him at all. Just Listen, being like... Buddy. I, you don't fit in with those guys, but you fit in with us. Are we going to create a show about Freddy Krueger in the tone of the Harley Quinn animated series? <laughs> we should. <laughs> yes. Where Jason Voorhees is like the chill one. <laughs> and then it turns out Freddy Krueger's gay, so Netflix will pick it up. Right, right. <laughs> That's, what we do. That's how you do it. And there will be an awful joke about how, just remember, fist with your left hand. <laughs> and then the theme music plays and it widens out. To a gunshot of us killing ourselves both with one bullet. <laughs> yeah, no, the series ends with us committing seppuku, but with a gun. <laughs> Uh, no, that's actually fucking phenomenal. <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that. Jokes aside, that sounds... And no, it doesn't out. like a good joke. <laughs> it sounds, like good. Clone High, but it's serial killer. So, yeah, honestly, if they're making fun... If in the beginning of the Freddy Krueger college movie, they're making... Kylie, you can make noise. You're fine. <laughs> she was not a shutting the program. door so slowly <laughs> and quietly. Just, o- just opening that cough drop over seven minutes of crinkling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've just extended the crinkling. You... <laughs> Uh, spread out no but uh, so in the beginning they're making fun of Freddy for being gay and having knife hands not just for having knife hands <laughs> and then at the end they all learn She's a like, valuable lesson about acceptance well no all the people who made fun of him are dead and Freddy Krueger no, the, learns the a valuable no the lesson is uh, be accepting or Freddy or, or Krueger die. will put a knife in your face which is a fine lesson <laughs> that's <laughs> no, fine actually if you're yeah. homophobic and get hit with a knife I'm not worried okay. about it <laughs> Neat. Have you seen the new animated series about gay superheroes on Netflix? Because it's almost as bad as Sexy Beasts. Is it um, Invincible Dildos? I didn't. I didn't have anything. Uh, Invincible. <laughs> <laughs> In men. Period. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's just there. It's it, it's just like how every store has a jean jacket that's rainbow and mm. ugly, and they're like, "This is what it's you fucking month. queers like." Buy it. <laughs> Netflix did a show about now gay that capitalism is proud of the gays. <laughs> it. Just call us fags. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you know what? Call us fags and give us rights. <laughs> there, there's a scene where like, they bust into a door, and then the tall buff guy is like, oh, I wasted all that masculinity on nothing. There's no one in here. And then the Twinkest dude rolls up, and he's like, oh, you didn't waste it. My little asshole went boop. Because that's what <laughs> Disney thinks being gay is. Uh, Tyler, fuck face with bug tie. We got you on the line talking about gay superheroes. You're on the It's Just Piss podcast. How do you feel about not, gay superheroes? Not the, one, not the girl lesbian Robin from the new 42 actual gay superheroes hello i'm about <laughs> <laughs> what do you call about i was just wondering what time you were getting there tonight 
what's tonight? <laughs> oh, the showcase. No, I'm not going. Uh, my hand is exploded, so I'm taking the night off. I just don't go oh, places. Okay, cool. Yeah. It was, uh, it was Jonathan's birthday, so give him a shout out on the podcast today. Shout out to Jonathan. Jonathan's Twitter handle. What's his Twitter handle? I'll uh, find Secretary it. I think, I think it's J.M. Bailey, but it's spelled the way he fucking spells Bailey. Oh, yeah. J. It is totally. J.M. underscore B-O-E-H-L-E is my guess. Uh, go ahead and follow him on Twitter, and you can go hit that back button because I cannot repeat that, but I think I got it right I mean, the first I'm going to repeat it. Yeah. So give him a follow on Twitter. J.M. underscore B-O-E-H-L-E. JM underscore B O E H L E on Twitter. Go ahead and give him a follow. Give him a shout out. Wish him a happy birthday from the It's Just Bits podcast. A week after. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be He does good tweets about movies. Like you should actually he follow. does good. And he gets retweeted by famous people for fucking his good tweets about movies. Yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but what's up, Tyler? Is that all? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I was just going to ask you that, but, uh, but I hope your hand gets better, though. Yeah, same. Do you have anything you want to say to future Tyler listening to this? Um, stop being so sad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to get a phone call from you in a week and a half that says, I heard the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the thing. <laughs> Tyler, remember to call your mother. Take the d- defrost the chicken. Don't forget to defrost the chicken. They're very good. Uh, and don't forget, uh, you're masturbating lefty today because you just cut a jalapeno with your right hand. <laughs> I thought it was in solidarity with you. That was a close one. <laughs> that was a close <laughs> one. All right, talk to you later, man. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. I I'm aware this is a deep cut, so don't <laughs> fucking cut me for it. You know, but uh, with my knife hands. In the season one commentary of what is kids, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> they do a similar thing like, What do you want to say to your future selves? <laughs> and uh Sam says, uh, like, Hey, future Sam, she's out there, buddy. <laughs> You'll find someone. <laughs> and then Trevor's like, Yeah, there's a girl in his basement going, He's mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch that. The season one commentary of What Is Kids You Know is the best thing they've ever done. Because they are not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a podcast on the season one commentary on Commentary on WKUK. commentary on UK. <laughs> we have the TV. We do have <laughs> We do have we really gotta TV. set up because we keep saying we have the TV, we have the equipment and shit. We gotta just do it. We should, yeah, no, it should, we should do one of those things where we say, okay, and start playing now, no. and then we do it. We've said this so many yeah, times. Yeah, but for the what podcast. movie? I mean, A Night's Tale. Oh, good. Broke Nights, back. Broke, broke back. Uh, no, we can't do Broke Back because we'll just be like, damn, Broke Back. We'll just, <laughs> well, either that or we're just saying the lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awful to listen to. <laughs> I mean, the, the, our take on Broke Back is very simple it's it's, a, it's a dude's rock movie, and it's it's good for cowboys to fuck. It's good for the you to stem the rose as long as you do it up in the hills and nobody first of all catches you with but binoculars you wrestling your shirtless. Sheep. That too. You wrestling shirtless, so he's like, Oh, for sure gay. It's not that gay, dude. Ah! I still argue. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> Your mind is clouded by ringworm. <laughs> ringworm and impetigo. They form together to form gay. <laughs> <laughs> or just denial. <laughs> gay denial. No, 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 no. No, no, I put on a leotard and, and rubbed my dick against someone's <laughs> asshole to start because I'm an athlete. Mm-hmm. I care about my writing never. time because I want to get to the Olympics. I will never not tell the story about the guy we made fun of because we always thought he had a, bo- thought he had a boner, but it turns out he just had a giant dick. I mean, winner. It's so funny. He won that round. He grew up weird because of us making fun of him, but I assume he's a much better person right now <laughs> because of because you could be a and big dick and a piece of garbage. No, 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 you can't because he's not pissed it. off about anything. Yeah. Bad things happen to him and he's still like, it looks like a goddamn baby's arm. <laughs> Today was a good day. His girlfriend walked weird ever since they started dating. I swear <laughs> to God. Do you uh, ride horses a lot? No. You know what? I'm going to go with yes. Because it's <laughs> funny, but only to me. <laughs> I call him a horse. <laughs> he's he's a little touched in the head, so he does winnie. <laughs> it's... Did you turn a horse into a man? Did you trap a horse in a man's body as a, and make him your husband? He was jacked like a horse. Um, Did you trap a horse in a man's body? <laughs> I can neither conform nor deny. 
All but, right, we got to help this horse. Because he doesn't like... <laughs> that's why he's weird. He's a horse. <laughs> he's not happy about being a dude. That's why he likes wrestling, because he's on all fours a lot. That's what, yeah, <laughs> he's like, and he's, he's just state. like, oh, man, I I like oats a normal amount for a human. <laughs> Almost not at all. Almost. I don't <laughs> care, but I'm not, like, mad at them. Let's think about oats. This is the third carrot I've seen you eat today. Is everything okay? <laughs> My eyes are bad. <laughs> My favorite movie is Secretariat because of the human stories in it. <laughs> there, He did have very bad eyes. His contacts <laughs> fell out all the time while he was wrestling, so that might be why he was eating carrots as often as he was. BoJack Horseman, that's a show about... Uh, a guy with a giant... Dick. About a normal guy. <laughs> about a regular guy that looks normal and everyone else is an animal. <laughs> Wait, no. I... I'm a horse, guys. Can we stop this? <laughs> yeah, we got that like years ago. <laughs> you... Well, God, yeah, yeah, I'm a horse. We just didn't mention it. Like, we know that Jimmy's crippled, but we didn't want to say like every day, "Hey, Jimmy, a fucking cripple," you know? It'd like be that, weird. Like that internet web comic that's not as bad as these fucking Netflix shows, where it's like a guy's like, "Last one in the pool is a fag," and then doesn't jump in the pool, and he's like, "I have a boyfriend." It's like, <laughs> "Last one in the pool's a fucking horse." <laughs> And then he doesn't jump in the pool because I because well no horses can swim I've I've played Red Dead. Do you know how many times I've been the fag? Not be, because I did the la, they did last you, one. wrestling. Yes, I know. <laughs> last one in the pool is a fag, and I'm just like, oh, call me a fag now. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work that well. No, it doesn't. if you're an adult, <laughs> they, if they said last one in the pool is bad at blank, that'll get me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, it's it's not your fag. It's I bet you can't do that. <laughs> well, yes, I can cut my own dick off. Fuck you. <laughs> now I'm pool doing can't it. Can't cut his own dick off. <laughs> Remember when I almost died on a mountain because you were like, no, no, I actually know how to climb rock, <laughs> and I was like, I am not not doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm legitimately a mountain climber. <laughs> you're, you and I'm like, I can jump. Baseline. I can jump over that. I can jump over that. <laughs> and I did. It took a while. It was close. Almost killed your dog, but I did it. <laughs> you had a moment where you're like, do I hold on to this dog and hope that the dog holds me No, I, re I really thought, if I fall off of this mountain while holding the dog's leash, <laughs> there's going to be a moment where I have to be like, do I try? No, I'll just pull the dog off. I got to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> got to let it go. It would be an absolute dick move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Chiba would jump off after me. <laughs> Just to fucking land square on your face to do the final KO and make sure you're dead. Right, there's gonna Give be you a warrior's There's death. gonna be two hits: me hitting the ground and Chiba hitting my face. <laughs> <laughs> Which is honestly good. Good dog. Good dog. I don't want to. Yeah, no, make it quick. Fall off an entire mountain and then maybe be okay. I want you to land on my skull. <laughs> if I fall off the mountain, it's over. <laughs> But I don't want to see how many different places my bones can stick out of me after I hit all those trees. <laughs> well, you'd be lucky if you hit a tree, just so we're clear. That'd be a good thing. That would be more li it. it would be more likely that you lived. I don't know if yeah, you're lucky. Good thing. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I don't need my knees up my ass. <laughs> well, they do say if you're going to fall off if you're going to fall off a mountain, just in case, uh, to all of you listening on the edge if you're of a not, cliff. This is a, if you don't want to die. We'll I, do it if you, if you oh, do yeah. want to die. We'll do that head one next. First. But, yeah. You know how to do it if you want to die. Head first. Uh, He's but, a gun, asshole. Yeah, also that. Uh, if don't. You, for those I, of you. I, I, hold on. Don't. Put it, put it back down. Okay? <laughs> this is not an omen for you to kill yourself. Put it back down. Go outside or jerk off or something. <laughs> I am, um, yeah, we're talking to the people who are on the edge of a cliff right now, and as I have begun this sentence, they have started falling off the cliff, and now you they've decided they want to live. <laughs> you better with... download this podcast, because you're listening to it in midair. <laughs> now that you're listening to it, ear Skull Candy <laughs> makes a great e earphone, so it's staying in this whole time. Yeah, no, if you're the people that bullied me in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, everybody had Skull Candies in 2010. Everybody bullied me in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> you bullied you. You had... Skull candies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair. Um, anyways, well, this guy's dead now. So the, the guy who's jumping <laughs> off the cliff now. <laughs> so if you're <laughs> sitting there bleeding out, wondering what you should have done. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, move past that guy. The guy who's about everybody who's <laughs> listening to our podcast is always about to step off a cliff. <laughs> so if you've just now stepped off the cliff, uh, let's sidetrack again and kill. You. And you don't want to kill you if you don't want to kill yourself. If hey, you, you land do, on your feet, you're supposed to land on your feet. Right? No, you're if you land on your feet. There are arteries in your feet. You're going down. Fam. There's arteries everywhere. There's arteries everywhere, but like the impact is going to shoot things through things they shouldn't be through. Shatter your pelvis. Shatter your femurs. Put. 
put. I knew. I just thought that was like best case scenario for your terminal f- velocity. No, best case scenario, uh, uh, best case Ontario trailer park push reference is to land sideways, like you're lying down in bed sideways, not on your back, on one arm. So get in, get in that pose where you're propping your head up on your elbow and no, your legs no, are crossed. No, 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 because that's like you're on a bearskin rug. That's gonna put your elbow through your fucking. Well, skull. keep it loose, but make it sexy. No, 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 no. Uh, elbow, uh, hands, like literally, if you were to just stand straight up and put your hands at your side, do that. But, but except sideways. you're landing on your right or left shoulder, whichever. Whichever one you don't like. Whichever. I mean, honestly, they're both gonna get fucked up by the end of this, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> or don't fall out of a plane. Uh, it's the best option. Yeah, and aim for trees is another good one because you might. Learn. I knew you're supposed to aim for trees. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story about the Gurkhas, which were like these crazy badass fighters, like they were Indian but fought with the British Empire, and boo. They, I mean, that was bad. <laughs> but they were like really. God damn, that's like ew, that's a Jewish Nazi. No, like they are, n- no, it's not like Kapos, which is what you're referring to, uh, which is uh, Jewish people who helped run concentration camps. Good for them. Uh, really industrious people. <laughs> That's Mexicans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst s- thing we'll ever say on the moment podcast. Moment of silence for that one. <laughs> <laughs> moment of silence for that joke. Uh, so I think today the link has got to be the Jewish Freedom Fund or whatever it is. It's, it's got to be the Anti-Defamation League, even though I think they're a little bit Israeli. Mm. Is there a pro-Palestine Jewish group that we can donate to? I mean, just Jews that don't suck. <laughs> I'll just just like, Venmo my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Venmo Dan. Just Venmo I don't know. Dan. Look, look up Ellie Valley on Twitter and whatever he tells you to donate to. Mm. Uh, Anyways. Anyway, the Gurkhas were uh, Indian members of the British Special Forces. But during, like, Great I think guys. it was World War II. I mean, in this context, I think they're fighting Nazis. So, oh, okay. One of the few good things Britain ever did. Wow. Nice, Britain. Yeah. Which is li- literally one of the few nice things that any white nation did. Because do you know how many wa- times white nation talks about the time we fought the Nazis? Right. It's every fucking day. We want so much fuck. Remember that one time that we fought someone <laughs> who was saying exactly what we were saying, but a little bit louder? But were worse about it, but actually followed through on some of the worst parts of it? Yeah, that like the people inspired by what our politicians said actually went through with it. Yeah. Uh, th- good time to remind you that Hitler was inspired by the immigration quotas that uh, America <laughs> passed. Uh, you know how we were awful to Chinese people for fucking ever and still pretty much now? Hitler was big into that. Also, World War II started in 1938. We joined in 1943. We really <laughs> didn't want to be involved. <laughs> we, they, we knew what they were doing. <laughs> Before we joined, by a lot. <laughs> We're <laughs> not the good guys. We're just not the bad guys that one time, and that's why we won't shut the fuck up about it. For most of the Holocaust, America was like, that's a YP, not an MP. <laughs> <laughs> and then they cracked a bush light or a PBR because yeah. they supported unions at that time, but they don't anymore. Right, <laughs> that was back when only white people were allowed to be in unions. I mean, probably sort of. I mean, that's how they broke labor in America is by breaking it along racial lines. Uh, And if labor hadn't allowed that to happen, America would be, I mean, worth living in. It's the poor versus the rich. Anyways, we were talking about... The Gurkhas, who were were in this context fighting the Nazis, which was one of the few good things white people ever did, except for the white people that were Nazis. And someone was like... The white people that were Nazis, the good thing they did was killing (laughs) Nazis. It's a gunshot. I mean, he did kill Hitler. Yeah. I never killed Hitler. Wow, that did was a. You kill Hitler? <laughs> Have you killed Hitler? Just going okay. up to right wing Republicans. I don't know, man. I just like the guy who killed Hitler until one of them agrees with you. He's like, I like, like yeah, that guy a too. Fucking good guy. <laughs> right up until the end, I agreed with him. <laughs> no, I'm thinking they don't know who killed Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so that they're like, yeah, the guy who killed Hitler was the best. You know, Hitler killed Hitler. They right? only don't like Hitler because he's a bad guy in movies. They only don't like Hitler because they killed Hitler. <laughs> no, they only don't like Hitler. Oh, like, no, yeah, they made movies about how he's bad. They like Pinochet, who mm. threw people out of the helicopters, and they're like, that's cool. I like it when you kill leftists. Mm. But Hitler's bad because, you know, because Tarantino made a movie where he was bad. Jewish are traditionally <laughs> left. Anyways, moving on. The Holocaust was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, that's how I'm summing all oh, this okay. up. Yes. Holocaust was a bad thing. Deal. Not good that that happened. Good. Well, now that we're donating to the whatever Jewish charity we're going to donate to after this, we got free reign for that episode. <laughs> all right. You know what I really think? <laughs> uh, fuck Israel. Go Palestine. Anyways, the no, Gurkhas. But that's not anti-Semitic. Uh, it, and fuck everybody who says it is anti-Semitic. Yeah, how about that? No. When you use Ancestry.com in Israel, it tells you what American state you're from. <laughs> and the state is war. <laughs> <laughs> the state is capitalism. Yeah. 
Anyway, the Gurkhas. I'm trying to talk about cool people, and I keep getting mad about history. Uh, Isn't anyway, that wild how that happens? Anyway. The, Why are those they two were like, interchangeable? <laughs> so this is like the when paratroopers are a very new thing, and they go, look, we need you guys to jump out of airplanes. And they're like, okay, hold on. Let me talk to the guys. And he comes back and goes, okay, we will jump out of the airplanes if it's got to be very soft ground we're jumping on. Okay, we can do that. It's got to be um, like we got to get paid extra for this. Right, and they're mm-hmm. like, "Okay, we can do that." And I don't want the plane flying any higher than like a thousand feet in the air. And they're like, "Well, we can't do that because that's not enough time for the parachutes to open." And they go, "Parachutes? Oh, we'll do it." <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! It's one of my favorite stories. <laughs> for real? <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, we'll jump out of a plane without parachutes if the ground is soft and it's flying low. <laughs> oh, if there's parachutes, we'll just do it." <laughs> That's the that's the most badass people in history. Yeah, it's pretty fucking. That's fucking awesome. I'm sure they. I'm sure if enough people listen to this that we got tweets, people would tweet at us like, you know, they fucking shot nuns or something. But no, just on that. But that part was cool. I would like to have one fucking moment in history where it's just let's just take this part of the like, dude. I guarantee he did something awful. The group yeah. did something. Let's terrible. take the second half let's of Spedley Butler's life. They jumped out of planes without parachutes <laughs> directly onto the faces of kittens. <laughs> Boot first. On well, the it's like how faces. John Birch was actually like a decent guy, but he's been adopted by the John Birch Society because he's supposedly the first American to die fighting communism, but actually he was just shitty to some Chinese people who shot him. <laughs> but he was good most of his life. God, I love What's the other guy like that? There's another guy like that. Me? Maybe I'm thinking of I'm yeah. about to die fighting <laughs> communism when a Chinese man hears my anti-Israeli bits and is like, "Dude, no, I'm I'm like gonna we're gonna be drunk and shooting guns and I'm gonna like muzzle swipe you and accidentally kill you and then people will be like he's a martyr for fighting against communism mm-hmm. because at the time I was talking about how Mao was wrong about sparrows but right about landlords. What are sparrows? Ma- some shit Mao did that was supposed to get rid of pest animals, sparrows, mm. actually like ruined the uh, uh, e- like biome or something. Yeah, that's what happens when you try and exterminate things. You why know, it wasn't a good idea. Why do you think there are so many pest minorities after they got tried to get rid of the Jews? <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just giving them help. You're just you're just letting them start Sorry. a country when you see, do that. Now the zebra snail moves in, and now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did see someone say that the worst thing Hitler ever did was fail to complete the Holocaust because that allowed Israel to exist. What the fuck? Like, it was a bunch of people talking about how bad Palestine is and being right about it, and then this guy was like, <laughs> yeah, Hitler really should have followed through on that one. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> the Holocaust probably helped Israel exist. And by the way, Nazis like Israel because you know what Nazis love? When people of a specific race have to stay over there. Ugh. God damn. I, I, I mean, I understand that on this podcast, we say things that are terrible and sound like we're awful people with very earnest voices all the time. But if you're not a bad person, I think that you can separate the two. I really Hopefully. do. <laughs> and if you were ever, if you're ever questioning, if you're ever like, do they mean that? Probably no. Zero no, If you're like, holy shit, why would they say that? It's we didn't because it's funny. It's because our sense of humor is bad. It's yeah. bad and wrong. Did we laugh or try? <laughs> the, dog's, the dog's doing stuff. The dog's doing Dog's doing yoga. Oh, doggy do yoga. yoga dog. Oh, that's an upward facing dog. <laughs> and that's a sitting dog. That's a crazy fast gear sh- That's like the way that we just shifted <laughs> from, by the way, we do think the Holocaust is bad to, oh, doggy. It's like when you, you're you used to driving a six speed, but you're driving a five speed, so you go from fifth into reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Not Chiba good. ran away because of how terrible that would be. Yeah, Chiba supports genocide, but that's just because <laughs> we don't support not, genocide. She doesn't support she, genocide. She supports mass killing. She oh, doesn't care point. of what race they oh, are. Oh, not at all. She just wants them dead. The, the problem she had with any every genocide ever is that they didn't go far enough and just expand it <laughs> she, to people. <laughs> Chiba runs concentration camps where they have non-denominational terrorists. <laughs> exactly. Because while you're waiting to be killed to sate her bloodlust, you can be whoever you want to be. Exactly. So non-denominational. Honestly... That is what liber. Uh, that is what uh, in modern day Democrats support is. Uh, oh yes, is yes. non denominational <laughs> concentration camps. That's all right. they want. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, literally, as long because as you can be transgender and die. That's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, people look at this country and they're like, "Wow, they sure do brutalize people who aren't white and do that less to white people." And the way liberals are going to fix it is, "We'll let's do, do it, it to white let's people. Let's do it to white people." <laughs> and let, and the same. And you know, the six people that own everything. 
they're going to look like those drawings back in those standardized tests when you were a kid when there was <laughs> one white guy and one Asian girl and it was always a girl and one black guy and one kid in it a wheelchair. It was always an Asian girl. It was <laughs> the, it's the, the Asian one is always a girl. <laughs> it is very Power true. Ranger. She was the yellow Power Ranger. What the fuck is up with that? That was fucked up. Um, this is but this is letter from a Birmingham jail that we're doing. <laughs> this is what he, Martin Luther King would have said if he was white, which... <laughs> That, was that a is a sentence. That means something better than you, you all think wanna, it does. Do you want to back off that one for a minute? Or are you going to double No, talk? I'm saying in, if Martin Luther King no, were white, instead of making a good point well, he would have made a good point about something stupid. Yeah. No, I, I understood what you were saying. So and No one else did. Yeah, if anybody out there is like, oh my God, that's terrible. Just think about it for two fucking seconds. Letter from Just Birmingham Jail it. is about how white liberals are almost as bad as white conservatives. And that doesn't mean white leftists. It means white people who are like, well, I, it's like we, I, your methods are a little rough, you though. You can't do health care all at once. Yes, you can. Or like, yes. I understand that rocks are being thrown at you and people are accusing your sons of rape when they're like six. But don't. Don't be uncouth about how you fix that. I can handle systematic racism, but I draw the line at destroying Target. Right. <laughs> it's fucking literally whatever. God, it's literally, all these people are just like, I don't know, man. I don't think health, we can't just like have health insurance. Like no, everybody we, we but could. us does. Everybody but us does. Everybody but us. Well, everybody thinks that we can't do it because the Republicans won't let us, but it's because the Democrats just well, fucking won't. They just fucking won't. <laughs> they suck it. Like I, I, by the way, I said Joe Biden said a good thing when he was talking about how well, if you want employees, just pay them more. That was true. That is a good thing. That's true. Good By, job. You're the president. You can make people do things. Make <laughs> them pay us more. <laughs> you could, honestly, I, do, do you know, I get it. It's not, it, it could be worse, okay? That is, uh, that is a marginal step in the right B direction. Biden is one of the best presidents America's ever had. Then that's, that's how bad, bad that America is. is. Bad. That's a fair. No, it is a marginal step in the right direction. We are at the point in American society where we need radical There's steps no more in the right direction. I mean, it's too late because we have tried. We have tried moderate moves for so long, and it keeps killing and people and not working, and people keep dying, and that keeps happening. You know how the so French Revolution turned out bad for the working class. <laughs> We should have fixed it before now. <laughs> now we're... Now we... Now it's it was a, still better for the working class after the French Revolution. It was still... Well, no, because of Napoleon. Napoleon, no, know, like, turned it right back. I, I understand. It was better for a little bit. It got worse again, and now it's better again. It's, well, yes. It's on a double turn. But they needed that revolution. If they never had the revolution, it just keeps going downhill. It's the same thing here. It's because no one ever fixes it when they should. It's just, yeah. No. Revolutions do eat their children, but, you know, not doing a revolution just keeps killing children so i am entirely for moderate change when moderate change is needed i am entirely for radical it's, it's change gotta, it's gotta be big radical right change. it's all very very bad right if now. we were if everything was fine right now moderate change hell yes well and that's the thing that people think like what well, you're gonna do a revolution risk everything we have yeah it's we not have nothing this is not okay <laughs> i have things but I recognize that I have things that way, other people coming up. don't. Floor's coming up. Floor's falling out. <laughs> Maybe for you, asshole. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah, but you're on the fifth floor, and I'm on the fourth, and the third you're floor is third. gone. <laughs> um, you're you know, not married yet. You're still on. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's something. It's fucking, honestly. It, it, I, I don't see how people don't look down at the floor beneath them getting destroyed and think, oh, well, fucking, that's, they did that. It's not going to happen to me. Right. No, it's, li it's literally just nah, of I'm what's to come. Yeah. No, I have Unless you are the guy. <laughs> the <laughs> guy's going to fuck you. Exactly. The guy is Jeff Bezos, not Elon Musk. This is a pro Elon Musk podcast. Just a disclaimer there real quick, and we'll move I've, on. I've and come we'll move back on, around. And we'll move on. No, I've, I've, I've come back around. I don't think Elon Musk is a bad guy. Yay. You know how you can't execute retards? <laughs> <laughs> He's too dumb to be a bad person. His effect on the world is bad, but I can't fault him. He doesn't know better. He doesn't. He doesn't He's like know. Bill Clinton as a president. He's like, ah, he can't hurt nobody. He doesn't Ain't know nothing. Ain't got the appetites. <laughs> No, but he's been that way his entire life. It's fucking awesome. I'm sure he's a bad person, yeah. but he doesn't, he cannot know what being a good person is. He's he, the best person for the situation he was raised in. 
Honestly, for the owner of an emerald right. mine, he you never, can't come with, he never had a chance to be a good person. You can't come out with a better guy than I'm Elon not Musk. mad at Elon Musk. I'm mad at dumb people who think Elon I'm, Musk I'm is smart mad because at that's the, what smart people that's what dumb people think a smart guy looks like. I'm, I'm mad Musk. at anybody who thinks that Elon Musk needs to have as much money as he has or deserves to have as much money as he has. That's a fucking ins- that's a radical but statement he to me. It. That that's, is yeah, that's, like, a, that's radical. How do you think uh, if you think healthcare is radical? Why, how do you think that if we taxed one guy, one guy, that's universal health care? It's lit. If we tax just Jeff, it's there was comedians in the '90s making jokes about this. That was literally like, "Well, yeah, we don't want to do healthcare because we're getting taxed and people are getting taxed, and it's like your neighbors and your family." But imagine if we could just tax one dude. Imagine if it was just this guy. We don't say fuck this guy. But no, we, we all wouldn't. need to have that mentality. By the way, but George nobody, Carlin already that's said never everything. gonna happen. No. And now it fucking happened. It's just Jeff. It's just, it's just Jeff. Jeff. I mean, and, Tax and, Jeff. And, and Elon and Bill. But it's not even. It's not even like. It's not even. Do, take their money unlawfully. It's them paying taxes they're supposed to pay. Would make it better, but right. aren't. That, that, which is which is why I'm <laughs> radical because clearly. You're just not going to do it with taxes, radical? so I guess we have to do guillotines because you're not going to do it with the government. It's no, if, still if, my if you're Twitter if you're quote. like if you look at a homeless guy and a guy with six houses and say if you took one of his houses and gave it to the homeless guy, you would be violating human rights. What the fuck are your human <laughs> rights about? What, what is, is the point no, of them? Dear. If they're protecting something other than human beings, why are you doing them? Your your property rights would definitely be valued. Uh, uh, right, and I have just given yeah. you. A perfect real life example <laughs> of why property rights are dumb. But we're the radicals. Don't forget that we we're gotta, in, we're we gotta ins- remember. We're, we're insane because when homeless people die, we don't think it's their fault. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I mean, how could you how could you support I mean honestly I do if like If you talk to anybody who believes that like don't give homeless people homes, they'll say, Well it'd be nice if they could have homes and their next sentence amounts to but they deserve misery because they're not as good as me. Fucking, you could give every homeless person a home, and the number one concern of most people is that, but I work for my home. And it's like, okay, they're, first of all, their home's not going to be as nice as yours. Second of all, who gives a shit if it is? Do, would you have... If, you, if you're worried about people if you have getting a job, shit that they didn't work for, it's Jeff. It's Elon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're getting so... The homeless person getting a house is always going to be way less of a violation of your rights than the Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk getting the amount of fucking money they have. Even if you're the one they tax. Get, they, let me tell you, they didn't do anything, and they got a way fucking nicer house than that homeless guy here's, would get. Thing, they did something. They didn't do that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what raising the bottom does? Raises the rest, too. Every, no, goes, actually, no, that doesn't. What? I mean, it, raising, raising the bottom the of the working class the... raises everyone else, but the only way for the bottom to come up is for the top to go down. <laughs> well, yeah, no, yes. There's a there's a limited, there's 100% on the scale. And if we move the bottom to 20%, because right now the bottom's at, the top of the middle class is at 1%, just so we're clear. <sighs> so if we, raise the, if we raise the bottom to 20%, then the top of the middle class will be at minimum 21%. Better. Better. Oh, God. It's, <laughs> people will say, like, well, you know, wealth isn't a zero-sum game. People being yes, rich doesn't is. make you poor. It might not be, but look at how much the working class lost over the past year and a half, and look at how much billionaires made. It's fucking related. <laughs> it's not one-to-one, but it's fucking similar. Do you think you do less work than Jeff Bezos? I think uh, yeah, think about how much Jeff Bezos how, makes. Do you think... He does more work than you do at such an exponential degree that he deserves the money he deserves. Like, I, do, I do think there are little fucking worms like that that think Jeff Bezos is a million times more. It's good not. Than it's them. more than a million. I know, it's but more it, than a million times. You think that Jeff Bezos works a billion times harder and or not even harder, smarter than you. You think Jeff Bezos because they say it's not hard work, it's smart work. So you think Jeff yeah, Bezos Yeah, smart work works, is when you make other people work for you. Yeah, Jeff Bezos works a billion times smarter no, than you. No, there are little worms like that. that. I don't think they're people. I don't think... No, that, it's just that people aren't as good as we thought they are. <sighs> because some of them are little spineless worms that, are, that listen to Jeffrey Bezos by Bo Burnham and are like, I agree with all of this, <laughs> unironically. Good. Do that. And you're the it's fucking just, problem. Yeah, you're the just, fucking reason we can't just kill so, these guys. It's so funny that it's just it's just Jeff. I can now say it's just, just Jeff. Jeff. Just get it's Jeff. just Jeff. If so many problems would be solved, not all our problems, not forever. So many problems would have such a giant step forward to, for so much of humanity if we just <laughs> taxed Jeff. There are difficult problems. If we got problems? Jeff, if we got Jeff, 
Way more problems. Should be solved. fed to wolves. But Should if be fed we to wolves. taxed Jeff, still so many fucking problems. There are a lot solved. of solved. There are a solved. lot of very difficult, thorny, hard to solve problems facing humanity. Yeah. None of them are the ones that are going to kill us, <laughs> because the ones that are going to kill us are just well. You should have killed that guy. <laughs> you should have got that guy. The the ones that are going to kill us are uh, like another thing. Uh, uh, I just watched the fucking John Oliver about this, and uh, everybody says John Oliver is radicalizing our youth because uh, they think. Because John Oliver has this crazy take that people are people, uh, and people are more important than property, which is fucking insane, insane. to some people. It's just, it's crazy. Um, but he's like, yeah. So in every other country in the fucking world, um, or at least any every other first uh, first world nation, which we still consider ourselves to be, but I don't think we fucking are anymore. Um, in every other first world nation, you have to, if you are a company that creates pollutants, it is your responsibility to take care of those pollutants once you've created them. You can create them, but it's your responsibility. So if you're the guy who makes all the fucking plastic bags from Walmart, and the plastic bags from Walmart start killing fish when they get in the ocean, it's not the responsibility of the consumer to recycle those plastic bags. It's the responsibility of the guy who made the fucking plastic bags to either change the material or to figure out a way to get them out of the fucking ocean. Because now we know your product, your fault. You fucking did it, dude. It... Th- uh, Holding people accountable to the the meritocracy and the market that capitalism claims to have would look so much better than this. Yeah, no. It wouldn't be enough, not, but it would look infinitely better. It's, and it's not, it also, it's not, we have to have, we can either have one guy or one business make a decision that betters the world by 20%, or we, we have- We can keep scolding you for not uh, recycling. We can have 100% of the population each individually have to make a decision that can either- positively or negatively affect the environment and they have to make the decision every day and sometimes it's difficult for them personally and if so, you think it's a violation of rights to have a collective decision made fuck off into the woods and don't take shit with you because you don't like society <laughs> that is society and also fucking we, we just got to one fucking planet i know and i, I love no we the, don't well we do <laughs> elon has two no he doesn't Jeff has two no he doesn't you think they really? You think they're the guys that are gonna get to Mars and then make it work? They're gonna get to Mars and be fucked, and it's gonna be hilarious to no, watch. No, they're not gonna be fucked. Someone's <laughs> gonna be fucked. They're not gonna be fucked because they're the guy. Yeah, you think Columbus Ooh. was carrying shit through the jungle? Ooh. No, some fucking enslaved Native American was. Revolution on Mars. What are, we, what are the cops going to come? Revolution on <laughs> There's Mars, There's no dude. cops on Mars. Exactly. Revolution on Mars. All oh, my God. Let's write a book called No Cops on Mars. That's about Elon Musk getting eaten by Martian mutants. You got to ask. You just got to convince one security guard that follows Elon Musk around all the time to be like, hey. Um, Why does he make so much more money than you? Let him die. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You're done. Hey, if, if you look over there for a minute... I'll give you a bunch of his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a bunch of his stuff? Because you could have a bu- Well, the smart move, which Elon Musk wouldn't, would totally do, is have family for the security guards back home, all their family very well taken care of. So if Jeff dies or Elon dies, then their family no longer gets taken care of. That's the thing. Or make them prisoners Some shit like that. with nothing to lose. Which I mean, that's what, what they do. actually will do. For example, like the Social Democrats in Germany right before uh, the Nazis rose, they took a bunch of uh, just totally destroyed men who had lived through the hell of World War One, mm-hmm. and they were like, how about you kill the communists, and then we'll deal with the fascists and win. What the fuck? They uh, lost, by the way. It's crazy what happens if you um, study history, because you start seeing some parallels. Not in class, by the way, because oh, they're telling no. a story. They're telling a specifically... Yeah, I learned um, nothing. <laughs> I, l- I know all the stuff I learned in U.S. history. Well, I, I still... learned stuff. There were some very nice men in wigs who said freedom is good, and they but and they fought a war just about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they no, threat- you don't own property, no, for everybody, so not even but you. There were, but you can't just free the slaves all at once. You got to do incremental <laughs> fucking change. Uh, there, honestly, this was probably the same exact argument for health care was the same exact argument for slavery. It's the same argument every time. It's like our economy is no built liberal. What, what are insurance companies going to do? What are what are plantations going to do once there's no more slaves? What are insurance companies right. going to do? Right, I understand once slavery no is bad, but you can't just take those people's property. Yeah, I mean they're clearly that's, it, that, that's how I liberals understand health. I understand this is bad, but I will not inconvenience the people who benefit from it. <laughs> so instead, uh, stuff uh, we're going to paint it rainbow. <laughs> yeah, if we were to uh, have universal health care, then all of the stock from the health care companies would go down. Um, right. And that'd be bad because I eat stock. 
I live. Right. Uh, oh, Stock, stock is, stocks are real. Did you know that? Yeah. Stocks <laughs> represent something that matters and aren't just stupid bullshit in the air. I understand caring about your portfolio and your stock market. I have money in the stock market too. But until people are because getting health care, you have to. Because we that's have a, to. That's a tertiary care. That's a tertiary care. Primary care, food, water, shelter, and shocker, that that's for everybody. That's not just for you. Dude, I understand you have food, water, shelter, so you want to care about the stock market, but let's wait, get wait, everybody wait, wait, wait. food, water, shelter, why don't, then give a shit. Why don't them. they have it? They were too stupid to get it, Oh, right? yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. So well, they yeah, should they, die. So they should die. Yeah, exactly. They were born, uh, they were born and they checked the box for schizophrenia, and that's their, I mean, they shouldn't have fucking. And by the way. I didn't check the box And by the way, if you thought Bernie was too radical, this is what you think. You don't think it's what you think, because you've painted it rainbow and pink, <laughs> but if you dig down, that's what you think. Mm -hmm. Bernie, God, not I radical. Fuck it. <laughs> no, not not. By the, rest in peace, Mike Gravel. By the way, that's a there, there's a little bit of a eh about how like he was old and some teens were using his name in a Twitter account to be mm -hmm. like Mike Gravel said this, but he didn't because he's like 91 mm -hmm. and he's dead. But he like there was a, in the presidential race that Obama eventually won. Mm -hmm. He was in the primary and he was like, I'm scared of these fucking people. They're gonna nuke Iran, and that's a bad thing. And, like, Hillary and Biden and Obama were laughing, like, <laughs> yeah, we are, and you're not going to win this race. Jesus Christ. And one of the one of the better things a senator has ever done is they didn't want to release the Pentagon Papers that proved, like, the shit Kissinger did in Cambodia and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They tried to not release those, and he just got up to speak in, in the Senate and, and just it. read them out. So they had to become public record because it was congressional record. <laughs> And that was, like, actual bravery. And, like, I tend to think... I feel like the Senate is worthless and there's no point in electing people because there's no one like that who's doing actual shit. Democrats, they just... They're, well, we gotta play by the rules. No, you don't. This is a fake game. Your job is to make oh, people's yeah, Republicans lives better. playing by the rules. Also. No, and, and, and rather than... and If you're not cheating, you're not trying. And Democrats aren't trying. And if you would like to play by the rules and you playing by the rules uh, results in people keep keep dying it's a, we're not even playing it's there crazy. is no referee that will pat you on the back yeah no it's crazy that we're playing a game where the consequences are that people keep dying and you're allowed to break the rules the consequence is like a fine and shit and people aren't just constantly fucking breaking the rules it's, if, if, it's insane. if people in concentration camps are counting on you to win and then you lose because you played by the rules that's not a fucking Cheat. moral victory <laughs> no yeah but the, the but the, the well, great the America fucking myth here is that oh the Democrats want to close the concentration camps no they don't ha have fucking have they yeah oh because that's just an order that's just one signature one fucking thing it's so many it. things are one thing oh yeah and people are like oh but it, well because we shouldn't Trump have a president that's powerful okay but we do and since we ha the president is our guy supposedly how about he Let's does fucking shit. anything worthwhile but he fucking won't because Democrats don't want to and all this shit about oh the fucking you know, Manchin won't vote for it. Pelosi doesn't fucking want it. Schumer doesn't want it. None of the Democrats Pelosi want to do good. Pelosi is not a Democrat, by the way. No, that, here's the fucking... She's yes, fucking they, that's what a Democrat is. <laughs> that's what a Democrat is. And if you care about progress, stop being one of them. I think there are two Democrats, AOC, Bernie Sanders, and there might be no, one more. No, no, I'm fucking saying. <laughs> that Bernie Sanders literally is not a Democrat. He's an independent. <laughs> that... When you say when you say oh these people are basically Republicans yes the Democrats are basically Republicans uh, you, if you are on the left the Democrats are not your goddamn party eat them okay well let's end this on a happy note uh, Diane Feinstein has a forty one million dollar house she's selling why isn't it burned down <laughs> or given to a homeless man several homeless people honestly but you have a bunch of people live there they're a there are a bunch of goddamn lizards living on transfused orphan blood, and you should be tearing the IVs out of their necks. <laughs> so what get them! <laughs> so what you can do, if you're frustrated like we are, is you can A, get them. You can B, donate. I mean, you I, can I wish... you can commit propaganda of the deed by just running at a nice facility with the gun, but they'll shoot you and don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. It's a bad you idea. could. Don't. Uh, get some friends together. Uh, and like make a good cohesive plan and then do that yeah um, give if you see homeless people give them shit give them food give them, don't be one of those fucking just give them money what it, you spend money on alcohol too asshole if, if what you've got on you is food give them food but don't be like I'm not gonna give you money because you might spend it on drugs fine he'll have a better night than he would have yeah who gives a shit He's fucking the the side. The world is built against him let him be high yeah, it, anyways your, your job is not to police people 
Your job is to help people. The police's job isn't even to police people. <laughs> no, it's to hit them. <laughs> uh, so you can also donate. I like donating to the ASPAC, uh, ASPCA for people, the ACLU. ACLU, I don't like it because they defend the civil rights of Nazis, which is silly because the Nazis won't do that for you. Uh, very true. Uh, but otherwise, they're still good. Uh, you can donate to any number of freedom DSA, funds. DSA, Google, a bail fund or a bond fund. Always good because those are people who are actively. So if you're like us and you're cowards and you're afraid, and you don't, which is fine. It's not the, everybody has to. The world needs cowards too. But you want to support somebody who is getting arrested for the causes we believe in or are willing to talk about? You can absolutely do that with bail funds. Bail funds are which people will be in the description. Are going out? And it's not the worst thing in the world to be a coward. Every once in a while, get out, hit a protest, do all that shit. But if that's not like where your heart lies, that's fine. But donate. Spend, throw a little bit of cash at them. Because the, the, the people that do do that need people that aren't doing that supporting them. And if you exactly. don't want to do that, then do the supporting part. And if you have fucking, if you have money, if you're one of the people who are like, uh, uh, I consider myself to be one of the people that's on four five. It's common, but it's not coming yet. But we're doing good right now. And I'm We've doing got okay some disposable right now. income. And, and can spend, you spend it on that. Just get one handle of cheap vodka and then give the spend rest of it bucks. to someone who needs it. The money you would have spent on the Coke to mix with it who are you fucking kidding? You weren't going to mix it, it with Coke anyways. You were just going to drink it straight. By the way, you remember... You just in- get that Coke to feel good. You got four two liters of Coke in your fucking fridge. Get, throw 20 bucks at a freedom fund. It'll fucking... Or at, a guy, or, or at a guy on the street that looks like he's having a hard time. And it, it, Give and him 20 bucks. Even if he's not homeless. Just a dude who looks disheveled. Yeah. <laughs> It's you, you, by the way, you remember in New York, we were at McDonald's, and there was a homeless guy outside, and you yeah. went, did you get him eight nuggets? And I said, if I were him, I would want eight nuggets. Get it through your goddamn heads. They're all you. They're all the <laughs> same type of thing that you are, and they have the same emotions that you do, except rich people, because when you have that much goddamn money and power, you forget how to be human. Uh, I disagree with you on that last part. There's still people, but... <laughs> no, the, this is fucking scientific. I have many rich friends. They're good not people. the type of rich I'm talking about. Okay. The type of rich where well, you Jeff. could you're talking about you Jeff. could where you could burn money for warmth and never notice the number go down. <laughs> yeah, it Jeff. make it it ruins your empathy. It makes you unable to empathize with other people. When so they're no longer what we are. They're if, lizards. If your bank account has a dot 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 on it, you can go fuck yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah. So donate. Uh, you'll f- and if, if for no other reason, you'll feel good. It won't. It, you'll feel fucking good. Try not to make it about your own personal moral journey, but yes. So the way, so the way rich people are allowed to donate instead of paying taxes is by, so they don't have to pay taxes if they donate enough to charity. So the charity, they. But somehow they keep making money no matter how much they donate. Because the charity they donate it to is a charity they own. So the charity is for horses that happen to be in the stable that I own. This goes to my five hundred one three C that. Uh, pays for the medical expenses of show horses. Okay, we need to pay for the medical expenses of people, but because the government allows charitable donations as a loophole, now this guy owns a bunch of fucking horses. And he's charitably donated. And that's free. So he's like, so it's like me owning an aquarium. I would have, that's what I would have done with my money. But instead of paying taxes, I could own an aquarium. Who the fuck is that helping? That's not, that's helping me and me alone. No, because philanth- philanthropy is not to help people; it's to make no. it okay that they have that much money. But you and can it's still also not okay. use that same power, is what I'm saying. So I don't want to pay fucking taxes. So and the taxes aren't going anywhere worthwhile. They're yeah. not you should pay taxes to like ha- so there's public money to help people, but that's not what they use it for. So don't pay taxes. And also, to- if everybody all of a sudden decides to start using the same exact loopholes that giant fucking corporations use, they'll stop. They're gonna close those fucking loopholes fucking perfect so, i still think we should bite their necks and just pull out all of the sort of tubes if in there wall street bets has taught us anything it's fucking you got to beat them with just do, what they're, do yeah, what they're doing do, do exactly what they're doing and then they'll make it illegal so donate money to charity keep the receipts if you're going to go to goodwill keep the receipt you get from goodwill if you're going to go donate to I think goodwill's bad but you know uh salvation army sucks salvation army is definitely bad it's okay to steal their buckets and dress like santa to get money from strangers nice um but yeah, so just just use the same fucking tricks they're using against him. Are we at an hour or something? Yeah, one hundred three. One hundred three. Oh, we can keep going. Well, uh, I just the, the, the fucking Santa, not Santa Monica. What's the movie about that's Groundhog Day with Andy Samberg and that hot lady? Oh yeah, so good. Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Palm Springs. There is a part in that where she goes, "Why does it matter what you do? It's not gonna. It's, it's gonna reset and not be real." And he goes, "You're gonna remember it. Mm. You did that to people, and that just sticks with you, because you're." Fucking, you're them. <laughs> you're them. They're you. You, the, you are 
the people you're disgusted by. You do realize when you say, also, you do realize when you say it's been scientifically proven that rich people don't have emotion, you do sound like it's been scientifically proven that they have a crime bone in their skull. <laughs> you did sound no, exactly the same. No, they're not born that way. <laughs> they become that way by living inhumanely. <laughs> if, you, if, you make, if you make a deal with the devil, your soul goes away. If you do necromancy, you become less than human because you're doing inhumane things and stocks are fucking necromancy. I disagree. I think I think rich people are still people who can redeem they could, themselves. They could be like the movie Warm Bodies. They could be returned to humanity <laughs> if they had to be if they were treated like humans, but they're not. Mm -hmm. You got to treat them like humans, and when humans do things that bad, usually a mob tears them apart. We could be nicer than that, oh, but yeah. we don't have to. Uh, if I if me just me was putting as much plastic in the ocean as the leading company. If I was just on the shore of California right now, dumping that much plastic in the ocean. Torn up like Frankenstein's monster. Oh, destroy. Destroy. Especially the shore of California. Maybe the shore <laughs> of Florida, they won't stop me. But <laughs> No, well, that's... No, we, after we fix everything else, we're, <laughs> we'll we're going to worry about, about Florida. Florida. <laughs> once we have... When Florida secedes. <laughs> once we have, like, luxury, no scarcity, totally automated communism in space... Then we will <laughs> attempt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to Florida's trailer parks and be like, "Do you want hot water? At least want... hot water." <laughs> and then an alligator will. And then there's going to be an alligator outside. Like they're fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. An alligator at a podium wearing just a tie, no suit, just a tie, <laughs> and a straw hat. <laughs> oh yeah, and a straw hat. <laughs> nice. That's a good alligator. <laughs> I may just be a country fine gator, but I sure as shit know that my employees don't want to get paid no more than they do. <laughs> <laughs> and old people. People aren't people. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay that I'm eating that baby. <laughs> <laughs> that baby was a poor. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking alligator and a seersucker. <laughs> That's. <laughs> they should make all rich people dress up in seersucker suits and talk like Boss Hog. <laughs> because then people would know what they are. Oh, wait a second. I, from movies, I know. That's why they don't make evil people. Anything like politicians actually? No, they make them gay. The, <laughs> no, because evil people in movies, even though evil politicians, they have like that dark moment where they do like they you show them against the camera and shit, so people can visibly tell they're evil. Right. That doesn't happen that in real right. life. That's a, that's, you just have to judge them on their actions that's and words. Art. You, yeah. Yeah. No, but no. So Elon Musk should have to stop doing whatever weird accent that he thinks is an American accent, and he should start having to talk like, "Oh, my lord, I should." <laughs> I sure do. Well, no, no, that's my. I, I sure be, do bust them unions. Might be getting racist. <laughs> yes, I do bust I them. I may unions. just be yes. a countrified slave owner <laughs> in the new sense, but I because, think everybody should drive them electrical cars. Because, because a twenty-five is just about slavery. I think it's, I want to make a big old tunnel, and uh, I want to put cars in it, but not train cars. Regular cars <laughs> that run on electricity. Uh, so it's I would like, like to, a train, but stupid. I would like to backtrack real quick and say, uh, a twenty-five is way better than slavery. Anyways, moving on because I just said a twenty-five is just about sl uh, slavery. So it's on. better. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd say exponentially I, uh, better. Uh, We're sla in the slavery right and working for minimum wage are, in the degree of how bad they are, way different. Yes, the reason they're, they're bad, bad is the same. Why? Because both of them is. You're doing the work, and then someone else, because they it's own the thing you work on, gets to decide where the product of your work yeah. goes. Join a union, hoes. Wish I could. I, the Chicago or, Video Editors Union. Eat. Five guys. Five people. That's not a and union. It's, it's actually just the union for that for five guys. The rest of them. It's <laughs> the Chicago, Chicago is like where unions fucking started. Why are we such, such I bad at feel rejuvenated. I have not fucking screamed about how <laughs> much I would like to drink the blood and eat the flesh of rich people in a long time. <laughs> it's good. Because I thought that doing that was bad for my mental health. It's good. I feel very good right You're now. You're like a golden retriever in a stream again. I yes, I just just throw the ball, just <laughs> just throw the musk the femur so I can this, run after it and bring it back to you. The name of this episode is "Throw the Ball." <laughs> by the way, no, but I literally I don't understand. I don't understand fucking how I don't understand. There's not why a chair force don't union. Think yet. people are people. Well, there's not a chair force union yet, which is another thing that I really here, don't no, get. No, but here, the thing about union is just bitches in offices because everybody thinks an office a, a union has to be like a, a trade. That's what like, they think of as labor. But You're this is still a, a video. You can't fucking edit a video in Premiere like I can. 
Well, you can. <laughs> but other people, that's not something you know how to do. That's something you would need to learn no, how to it, do and get better at over time. It is a skill. It, it, just, there's no such thing as unskilled labor. And if you think yeah. there is, go work at McDonald's during the rush shift and right now and see if you feel like you were missing something. It sucked ass. <laughs> yeah, that's skilled labor. And they're more important than anybody wearing a suit. Yeah, well, not anybody, but. Yes. I wear a suit sometimes. And the people that work at McDonald's are more important than we are. I used to work at McDonald's. And you used to be more important. <laughs> Remember how we used to do, like... Real jobs. Real jobs? Yeah. And those are the jobs that were essential to this country running, and now we have quote-unquote real jobs that pay real money? Yeah. And they didn't fucking need us? Oh, when yeah. they were like, just what we actually need, we didn't have jobs, because our jobs are fucking frosting on a rotten cake? Yeah. Eat their flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I really Rip, bite, and tear. I don't get why. I, I don't get how there hasn't been just a union of office workers. No, just something simple like that. Be, uh, because office workers are people that work not with it, their value is not just in what they're working; it's in skills. And we feel like we're better than McDonald's workers because you got to go to college and you got to learn how to do this stuff. No, I know, but there hasn't been. And you been feel a union. almost like you feel only. You feel, it's this is it's called the professional managerial class, and it's controversial. But there is a difference between being a brain worker and a body worker. Oh, okay. You but feel differently a, when you when what you're doing is a skill you. McDonald's is harder. Yes, no, it is. <laughs> but you feel I, as somebody who has worked at McDonald's and video editing, no, McDonald's 100%, is the harder job. McDonald's is harder. Waiting tables is harder. Delivering food is waiting harder. tables is not harder. Sir, I would like. Yeah, to, yeah, I yeah. waited tables for five years. It's well, not harder. It's very easy. <laughs> I, it might just be a personal thing too. Well, I mean, but bus boys is harder. Bus boys is harder. I mean. It, being in the service industry is harder and more worthwhile than anything you do in office. Not more worthwhile. Yes, but, more worthwhile. But better for, not more worthwhile for, worthwhile for the for dude. The, for society, for <laughs> you. For yeah, me. not for you. No, yeah. No, wait, uh, waiting tables, working with Donald's, all that stuff is like, uh, I think that's layer one or two. A video editor for a TV network is layer three or four. And then whatever is fucking Jeff they, Bezos should, is We is have layer to eight. do something before they give us money so that we could, because we have to think that's the only way to get money. The only way to live a decent life is to do something and work for somebody. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason that we and anybody with a better job than us has a job. <laughs> yeah, Doug's ah. doing funny stuff again. <laughs> ah, the simple purity of a dog biting a thing that they don't know what it is. It is nice. Uh, yeah, well, you should get... uh, give her acid and meth and let her into a rich person's house. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever get fired, I think I'm just going to go straight to a union and be like, let's start a union for video editors. It, uh, better idea. Just one big union of everybody. Yeah, that's it. The should best just one. be one big one. Well, but and it should have strikes guns. are an issue in that. That's the big issue. Is no striking because then everybody strikes when McDonald's doesn't get paid enough or whatever. Yes. <laughs> well, they would. Then McDonald's would. Very an injury quickly. to the one is an injury to all. Because and the only way that we're gonna get shit to happen is if you don't do what we tell you to. It stops. I all of it stops. I think that's too radical. It is we who plowed the prairies, built the cities where they trade. I, I think that's too radical. I think you can't do everybody fucking stop. That's the way. That's how you do it. You Hospital shut down. COVID. No, no, every no. time. So, no. So you help each other. But People with medical training help other workers with medical training. But you can't go to a hospital and get a nose job or something. You have and you can't fucking get gas in your car. And you can't. And the trains don't run. You and have to get so many people to agree. You got to get everybody or, it's not, or it doesn't work. You got to get everybody or it doesn't work. So more realistically... Video editors. You know, I think. I think honestly, that would be I an think improvement. You could get far it's not enough, the thing, but it would be an improvement. An office workers union. I think you could get far. Like that's as big as I would take it. You work in an office, you can join this union. I don't. Uh, sure, we should do that. Just I don't like feel there's like a that, teachers union. No, I but feel that like union wouldn't have all that much power. What do you mean? There's so many people working on office. There's people oh, working. Oh, but up, we can be out of. But it does. But if we, we stop doing do what we time. do, yeah. There's alternatives, and they'll find shit. If railway workers stop doing shit, if teachers stop doing shit, or flight attendants stop doing shit, that actually gums up the works. Yeah. Well, I, I still think that if there were enough of us who did it, it would work out. It would do something. It would it would put yeah. pressure on them. It is we who plowed the prairies, built the cities where they trade, dug the mines and built the workshops, endless miles of railroad laid. Now we stand outcast and starving mid the wonders we have made, but the union makes us strong. We built this shit. If we're not happy with it, stop building it. Stop operating it. They don't know how. Yeah. Eat them. Do construction workers have a union, right? They do, but like the mom runs it or some shit. Well, but better, 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 better. Yeah, I mean, if you're like, oh, well, the mom runs it. Yeah, well, the mob ran all the gay bars in New York when gay was illegal. So that's what happens mob. when you make shit illegal. We should go to the mob. If anybody listening to this is in the mob and wants to help us start a videos un video editor's union... 
Yes, we're yeah, in. Well, Please fine. help. And if anybody uses this later to I will kill court- any Italian rival. <laughs> Just for fun. No, but if anybody comes to me later and like, but you broke the law to do this. Well, the law fucked up. Laws are bad. Laws, this In this particular situation, people are getting less than they deserve because the law says so. If, if the law is different from what's right, do what's you should right. break it. <laughs> do what's right. Well, no, not even break it. Just do whatever's right. Simple. Yeah, disregard the law except as a practical yeah. concern. In, in America, it, the conflation between the law and what's right is fucking not the so. blurriest shit in the world because everybody thinks that law and morality are fucking intertwined. I had to like mentally realize that that wasn't a thing. That's not taught in school. No, it, it's something you have to come through. The, 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 no, it, but it's the, crazy that the first thing isn't like, hey, by the way, law and morality are not the same thing. Uh, because, because the way they teach the civil rights movement is, is it used to be bad and then MLK fixed it by being nice and now it's good and the law is what it should be. <laughs> they literally do. They, American history has always been taught like by every teacher too. It's not like it's not. American history is taught as something that's over. Yeah. No. It's, it, it's insane. It's always been taught like and then we did it and shut the book and pat yourself on the back. It's not, no, shit still. It, it's crazy that we have to as a 25 year old I recently learned that oh bad shit still happens we still need to work at fixing it and yeah. you can say you can say whatever that is you can say whatever caused that my parents didn't it was on the responsibility of my parents it was on the responsibility of this that I think the responsibility is on a fucking school to teach you to keep learning about history but because it, shit's fucked no, no system will give you the tools to you need to man. destroy it yeah. so we have to build that school with guns <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, back when back slavery cult. when slavery was happening, a bunch of liberals were like, "Well, it's bad, but we can't be mean about it." And then John Brown <laughs> shot a bunch of people and gave slaves guns, and then that fucking sparked shit, and real shit happened. And so during the civil rights the movement, system. there were a bunch of liberals like, "Well, they shouldn't be using dogs on them, but you know, we, I, we they can't be radical." <laughs> and then people broke some shit, and stuff happened. Your your fucking government's not going to do anything so you don't make you, them do. We should go to ice facilities and throw guns over the wire, over the fence. Which would honestly, yeah. how is the news going to report on that? If I go to an ice facility and I throw a gun over into the yard or whatever it is, they're going to be like, "This man was arrested for doing this." But was I he, don't know? They're going to call you like a radical terrorist or something. Is that how is that terrorism? Because <laughs> uh, terrorism is what they call it when you do violence that the state doesn't like. I mean, basically, <laughs> I mean, fucking. Uh, Every, the, everyone's a fucking terrorist until they win. Okay, well, if anybody DMs me on Twitter, I can get you a duffel bag full of guns. Go ahead and take it to the ice facility and throw it over the fucking fence. Uh, you know, fucking. Well, if you can toss a duffel bag like Tom that. Fucking Tom Morello had "Arm the Homeless" written on his guitar. Hell yeah! yeah damn right. <laughs> That's awesome. Everybody who's having a shitty, t- not people that are having a fake shitty time where they're like, they let blank people in movies. They shouldn't have guns. No. But anybody who's having an actually shitty time, you should give them a gun. If you have a home, a car, and a job, you can, fucking uh, help. Just help. Sit yeah, no, back and do help. what other people. Unless you think barely of. have a home, car, and a job, then go ahead and do. I you. mean, lots of people have home, but, but also you're... just uh, just realize that the the, the 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 homeless guy isn't your enemy. The homeless guy is on your side. No, he may be insane and think that they're shadow demons. Yeah, but you know, he he'd probably be doing better with that if he were allowed to sleep in a bed or you allowed to sleep been... on a goddamn park bed. I'll I'll fucking That's do another fucking... goddamn hour on anti-homeless <laughs> architecture. The fucking uh, honestly, how, I I don't understand. I well, I get how you grow up in like rural southern areas and grow up thinking. The problem is that the homeless people are draining our economy, and that's the issue. And that's why I don't have money. I get that because that's what you've been fed your entire fucking life. But you gotta fucking realize that it's like the homeless dude is his effect on the economy is a drop in a fucking Barely. Lake Michigan. It's nothing. It's not the giant effect on the economy is the guy who damned half of fucking Lake Michigan. <laughs> yeah, that's a big issue. This is like literally. Well, if that homeless guy didn't exist, I would have. You would literally, if if you killed every homeless person in America, don't. But if you did, your taxes would go down like a dollar. That probably They're so fucking little because we do so little for them. And by the way, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill them before we fix it. <laughs> That's what that's what they're when mayors talk about solving the homeless problem. It's they're moving. talking about they're talking about it, a, it like a problem like Hitler talked about it as a problem. No, they move them in buses to warmer places. What do you think? Cal- I, I'm proud of California because they're just like just they're doing what Ellis Island did. They're like, give us your tired and poor. They're not fine. saying that, are they? Uh, no, but the, all homeless people end up in California at one point or another because California is like we don't fucking the homeless people. Literally, California made a law that uh, homeless people can steal from businesses up to seven hundred and fifty dollars. No, 
can't even be arrested for it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, also, oh, real quick, that's everybody. That's not just homeless people. Everybody in California can steal up to seven hundred and fifty dollars without getting arrested. Can shoplift up to it, it might it might be yeah, like twenty theft bucks. Isn't necessarily wrong. It might be like twenty bucks. It might be something like that. But you know what's been happening? Everybody's been paying except for people who can't fucking pay. It's shocker. People isn't that are not crazy. People are not. Like, How does that happen? But no, shouldn't if Republicans are right, there should be blood in the streets. Of course, everybody. No, like, but, but people are more cooperative than they treat each other as. We could. By the way, you know why Appalachia, you know why it's all shitty there? Because mm. the coal miners and labor there really fucking fought against capital. And by the way, the first time there was a military drop of bombs on American soil, it was Appalachia. the government doing it to uh, striking workers. <laughs> no fucking way, for yeah. real. The government? Dick yeah. move the yeah. government. I think it was like a fucking sheriff's office. The, the first time there was a military airstrike in America, it was on striking workers. But anyway, you know why Appalachia sucks now? Why? Because they fought back and they actually won some shit and Capital brought the fucking hammer down and now they're all inbred. Well, how did it... Because they, they fucking economically destroyed the place and they destroyed <laughs> education and they took industry away from so there. So now they can say... Because if you fuck with them, yeah. they'll take it. Because we can strike, they can strike too. Which is, that's why no... That's why businesses are shutting down rather than pay people more money. It's called a capital strike. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll try and take that out. Yeah. Well, that's the, a huge reason they're not paying more people more money is because they're just like, if we start now, that's forever. You right. can't go. You can't when go you, back. Once you give people entitlement, it's hard to take them away. It's the a, most the the most laissez faire supposedly person in the world, the the fucking guy, fucking communism's come to this country because Joe Vibin said that black people are people or whatever the fuck. That guy will fucking kill you if you, you take his Medicaid. <laughs> and he's right no. about that part yeah. not the first part a, second part to, to, I saw a Twitter post the other day that was like if you were to pitch libraries today it would be fucking shouted out by Republicans oh absolutely what do you mean So for, I can afford a book why do they why need they books book? or pu free public education <laughs> anything but now if you try and touch education Republicans are like don't fucking that's right well actually they're, no, they're rapidly I, I have, I have seen a Twitter account about like they should instead of do libraries they should have like Blockbuster for books. You wouldn't have to pay taxes for libraries. Because, because they, 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 we are losing in America places where you're allowed to exist without spending money. Oh, yeah. You're you not can... supposed to be anything other than a consumer. Yeah, no. I mean, go to a city center. Go to a city center. I almost shit my pants in New York Find because there's no goddamn public bathrooms. Also because I'm a, you know, my body's terrible. But <laughs> if you go to a city center in, maybe not in Europe, but I got to believe in Australia. It's got to be like it, 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 they're, you're not supposed to be anything but a consumer. You're or Canada, a, cup, a public place in Canada. I guarantee. Or a small town. Tea. Also, they might kill you if you look slightly not a gender, but you know. Oh yeah, the bathrooms you, are still supposedly public. Yeah, it's fucking insane. That you, you're not supposed to exist without being a consumer. You're not supposed to think of yourself as anything but a consumer. So when things go wrong, do you think you're going to fix it? No, you're going to call the manager. Are you going to go fix anything? Are you going to protest? Are you going to? Tear down the problems and build up the solutions. No, you're gonna go. Hey, government! <laughs> I demand to. I want to see a manager. <laughs> I am displeased with my service. <laughs> and that's all we know how to do. That's all I fucking know how to do. Blood pressure gets higher. I. I so <laughs> high right now. <laughs> Mine's uh one thirty eight over twenty three or something like that. So it was high. It was high. Mine's twenty five or six to four or something. I don't know. It's too goddamn high. Oh, it was one thirty eight over Because of Jeff Bebop. Eighty three or something like that. Jeff Bebop. <laughs> Jeff Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Jeff Cowboy Bebop. Oh yeah, we should fucking shoot him into space. <laughs> <laughs> Did that happen to Cowboy Bebop? Has he been to space yet? Jeff? Yeah. No. It'll be God, nice. there's people working on that rocket. Fuck it I up. know you can do it without them knowing it was you. <laughs> I, I believe know. in you. I know you could. What are they going to do? Sift through the rubble? They'll never figure uh, it out. I know you can find a very important bolt and cough when it hits the ground so no one hears it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. There's I other people other than there's people other than Jeff Bezos on that plane. It's fine. Worth it. <laughs> it's fine. It's too bad they pro they don't deserve it. But just some of the takes, some of the takes, I I just don't so, like. I don't see how you can be against universal health care. I really, I've never heard a good argument against it. Do you hear anybody who likes their fucking health care? No, nobody, nobody, no. everybody gets denied for coverage it's all the not time. Working. You and know what you can't get? Denied for coverage from a fucking yeah. universal health care. 
They, they, you know what prior authorization is? It's when yeah. the doctor who has decided you need a certain procedure you still or test. You have to go through not a doctor. The doctor calls someone who's not a doctor and says, Will you pay for it, please? It, which is ridiculous. How is uh, this? If a doctor says you need this, that's it. Should be it. But that's not. it. That is crazy. Because I this had is to do what that. happens when you base a society on you. On you do it if you get money for it. My mom yelled at me because I didn't do that for my hand when I needed a rod for my hand. She was like, "You didn't call and like check around." I'm like, "What?" I literally I did not understand prior authorization. I was like, "Wait, so a doctor <laughs> says I need this, but I still have to check in with my insurance?" Yeah, it's fucking insane. The insurance that I pay for, and then. Fucking, I'm happy I met my deductible because I never meet my deductible. I always pay out of pocket because my insurance does fucking nothing. It's literally just a cash cow. All insurance does fucking zero. No, zero this, this country is a goddamn hellscape of graphs that say supply and demand. <laughs> right. And she, I, she, I can, you know, I you know if, when you, if you have an economics degree, that means you sat through four years of a guy saying, so from this graph... It's clear that the poor must suffer and die. <laughs> I can't wait for 40 years from now when we make the radical change that healthcare should be universal. I can't wait for right. that to yeah, be and the there's, there's, and there's craziest fucking... step forward. And for the first five years of it, Republicans and Democrats alike complaining and saying it's a bad idea. It goes from a 90% support to 35% support. We almost turn back the dial. And then people are like, now nah, we'll just leave it and see what happens. And then... If anybody tries to fuck with it, you'll kill him. I can't wait for that. Uh, when so we fun. finally do universal health care in 40 years, there's going to be motorcycle mutants ripping you out of your car, the same one you're driving now. Because <laughs> you can't get Just ripping you out of your car and fucking eating you. And I have more respect for those people than for the fucking rich people who are eating us metaphorically. <laughs> Eat them back. Uh, God, to, think that the, to think that a minority is going to do more damage to you than uh, a rich person ever does, ever has <laughs> is fucking insanity. There's, you know that meme that's like Anakin says something and Padme's like, a good way, right? And then, I don't know. <laughs> it's so that, but like, hey, the Irish were very oppressed and basically slaves. Oh, so that inspires you to have solidarity with other people who are oppressed? Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just means that I think it, black people don't have it that bad because my last name's McMurphy, even though I'm mostly German. It's fucking insanity, dude. The take, some, uh, there's some unsupportable takes that here, I just don't get. Here, no, here, for here's seconds. why I'm just going with, you know what? Tear Jeff Bezos' yeah. arm off of him and kill him by shoving it down his throat. You yeah. know why I'm going to say that? Because if I say homeless people shouldn't die, you'd call that radical. So you know what? Fucking kill him. <laughs> no, it, it's crazy because, it, well, the, the Republican defense, let's play devil's advocate because what we need more is straight white men playing devil's advocate. Let me tell you, there's Which, just not enough of that. What really main hard driver of our find. economy in addition to misery. It's hard to find straight white men playing devil's advocate. Well, here, but what you're about to do is actually play devil's advocate instead of sincerely advocate for something <laughs> and not admit that you believe it. But if you, if, you were to, if you were to give homeless people free stuff, then everybody would stop working. Just like if you were to No, we wouldn't. You see the shit people build in Minecraft for free? Yeah. No. And also, uh, homeless people can now steal legally in California. Nobody people steals still except for, for homeless people. And then also, if somebody forgets their wallet, they'll just either A, take it, B, try and figure out a different way to pay. Or honestly, they're going to go up to the counter and they're gonna be like, I forgot my fucking wallet. Uh, I kind of really need this. And they'll be like, well, you don't have money. And they'll be like, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go because I know the law, and that's okay. Or maybe it would be better if and instead of shopping at sixty stores across a gigantic place that we get through by farting methane into the goddamn air with these stupid machines, <laughs> maybe you go to the same corner store and you know the guy, and it, there's fucking human connections involved. And in you the could world. be like, "I'll be get like, you back. I buddy. will get you next time." And he'll be like, "Yeah, you've been coming in here yes, forever. Jeff, that's fine." How's the wife? <laughs> right. Which is, that is idealistic. That is the American dream that I actually want to go back to. Which is, I know, I fucking, I don't know the name of my local McDonald's worker. No. What? But, if but there we was a, should. But if there was a burger chain, that Italiano, the place next to my house. Well, now everybody knows where I live. That's an apartment <laughs> building, bitches. Good luck finding me. <laughs> I know those people personally. They're all aggressively Italian. It's hilarious, <laughs> but they're cool people because it's yeah. a small place. There's only them. 
It's people. Well, it's great. Capitalism allows us, you know, with this mode of exchange and the market and all these liberal rights and rules, it allows you to interact with people you don't know on a big scale. It allows us. It fucking makes us. This sucks. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, we tried it. Pay us. Well, but also, if you want to do that, cool. If one dude happens to own 20 Denny's, good for him. But if one dude owns all the Denny's, Right. Maybe he's got a fucking monopoly if, if on Denny's. If one dude owns 20 Denny's, it's probably a little bit of a problem. I'm I'm not going to suggest tearing his arms off and beating him with them. I would love it if Jeff Bezos was the richest man in America and he just owned 20 Denny's and he was the guy we were talking about That'd right be fun. now. That'd be a That'd little be bit so of a problem and awesome. I would not be talking I'd about be it. I'd be so happy. I'd be I would still be talking about it cuz I'm insane. But <laughs> it'd still be it'd be could you imagine We wouldn't be how yelling. Happy? I'm be almost fine. crying because of how happy I would be <laughs> if Jeff Bezos the big problem was that he owned 20 Denny's right. and he was If the worst 20, man in America was Tim McGraw on the blind side. Yeah, if he was tre- exactly. <laughs> and he was treating like 150 workers poorly. But he's treating an econ- a, 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 and by, and a though, class by the way, of workers. Those poorly. 150 workers would go home to nice houses. <laughs> they wouldn't piss in bottles. They wouldn't be getting paid enough. They'd hate their manager. And but if the, that's survivable. <laughs> this shit isn't. And if the bank tried to take their house, everybody would get around and beat the shit out of the bank. Yeah. <laughs> beat the shit out of your local bank, by the way. About a, a, a beat the shit out of Dan for being an asshole right. for taking the bank. Ob- obligatory reference to the times when, like... People's yeah. farmhouses would be foreclosed on, and the entire town would bid a cent. And if you bid more, you got the shit kicked out of you. <laughs> Good, do that more. And you know what that'd be? There'd be there'd be cops there now, and that'd yeah. be illegal because the advent of the internet is a good thing, but it also has its downsides, which is technology spreading fast enough that now a thousand cops can be anywhere within a moment's I notice. I think it's bad. I think the bad parts of it really outweigh the. I the think good the good parts. parts really outweigh the bad because you clearly have not had any listening to our podcast ever because it's pretty good well our podcast does require the internet so it's, it's good exactly. yep. no there's way more good in the internet than bad is there than the- yeah the i literally was at the hospital the other day and Find since i had a minor <laughs> i had a minor injury so they heard a, so i was in with a doctor who was talking to me and he got a f- call on his phone like hey there's a major injury over here and he got off the phone and was like there's a major injury and they need me so he's able to go do that otherwise if the internet did not exist, he would just have to keep talking to me about my shitty fucking hand while a dude dies a few rooms over. Well, as always, the problem is capitalism. The internet would be good if it weren't run for profit. Mm-hmm. It'd be oh good if God, there were I Facebook, but not even. Oh, yeah, the internet is a utility, by the way. I understand yeah. the government sucks, and but I mean, the Part of the reason okay. the government sucks is because it's doing things other than providing us public utilities. Oh, yeah, sh- stop it. Knock it off. Quit it. Stop spending my fucking health care money on killing brown people. For oh, fuck's sake. Uh, uh, on my health care money, my internet money, my water money. Uh, just stop killing hey, should, you do, know we, what? do we have enough money for health care? No. We spent it on giving Israel flying knives. <laughs> oh, we keep spending it on killing brown people. Right. Why you know what? You that? can't have health care. Because there's a Palestinian I... teenager with a rock and he needs to be red mist. <laughs> why is that? Why does he need to be red mist? <laughs> Does it give me an erection the under liberals. this table? <laughs> yes, it does. But why does it give me an erection? Is it because my dad beat me you're with not, a proud You're not boy. doing Tucker Carlson. You're doing Dave Anderson, our professor. <laughs> Is it because my... I want you to learn about the numbers. <laughs> That's why the poor people have to Is die. Is it because my dad beat me with a small brown child while I was growing up? <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah, well, they but ma- why did he do that? Is it because he's worked for fucking Halliburton? <laughs> yes, it is. They made like the Corella Deville movie where I think it's like, oh, a, a, good a Dalmatian fucked her mom girl. or something. Why, why does a good guy sound fine, but a good girl sound creepy? Because uh, good boy is the counterpart to good girl. <laughs> and it does sound creepy. Good because woman. Guy is gender neutral. Dude is also gender neutral. If, you, if, you're, if you're like trans femme and that makes you feel weird, then that makes sense. But... I out just, in the world in general. I'm also going to say no. Dude's fine for everybody, but that's just because I'm a well, chill dude. Well, some people don't like certain stuff. Boo. And that's fine for that. I wish our biggest problem was that. Yeah. Really do. Be a good day. I, um... Hate the Jews. Go to the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I hate it here. I hate it here so fucking much, man. Uh, I just fucking... Get him, you know. <laughs> Get just, fucking, just if people are fucking with that, that's You're why. Golden the reason after Catholic, a long day at the lake, I am. Yeah. I need to sleep. You're I've lying been down in out. the sand, I've panting. 
It's I. I want to be a cat, but I am a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate. I want to be smart just and like aloof, Chiba. but I just want to just hang out with people and, and have scream. them be nice to me. <laughs> You're like Chiba. She's a cat dog. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to yell. Like, I want to hang out with people, scream every once in a while, get pets, but when I'm done being pet, get the fuck away from me. There's a TikTok sound going around, which is, are you dating a man? Does he get bored sometimes? Give him a map. He'll be occupied. <laughs> He'll just look at it. I'm like, yeah, if you give You're me a map. absolutely right. It, right. If you give a dog a pig's ear or a man a map, <laughs> same thing that you don't have to worry about. I, we did half an hour of Google Maps on this podcast, and it was delightful. I loved it. <laughs> and everybody That's listening felt the point. same way they did when they're waiting for their dog to be done with the dog park. If you give me two a map and two uh, street intersections. That will. That's a day. Yeah, that's, that's a day. <laughs> <laughs> Make them walk away. I have so much fun figuring out where I'm going with a Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Kylie was yelling at me in New York because she's like, "Why don't we just fucking Google Maps it? Because you guys always guess, take the wrong turn first, but and then, then we, we fix it. We figure it out once we see the first street. And by the way, and when, we were, we when, we were, when we were late for something and we couldn't it's find shit, Google fucking Maps. No, no, but we used Google Maps and what we had learned <laughs> from fucking around <laughs> to be as efficient as possible. Around to find out, and we got there she was she was pissed we were going to be late for ellis island but we first of all we, we made it. it on time second of all we didn't need to be on time it turns out right but we would have made it on time yes and we did <laughs> because I, I just, I just, give a man a map fucking i fucking rain man to that goddamn red line the next time your man is screaming about capitalism just give, give him a map Seriously, this is why I need to be in a relationship. So when I start doing this, someone can walk up behind me, pat me on the head, and go, uh, "How do you think you would get from Columbus to Boise?" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Oh, two ninety three, baby." <laughs> I wonder how I would. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what Kylie does. <laughs> it's pretty great, man. Honestly, I'm usually not the stressed out one in the relationship, but that is my role is the opposite it's like when she's going crazy it's to just hand her the dog right. it's great it's it's the the pinnacle of relationships is when one of you is freaking out that the other person could just hand you a dog right. and be like all right shut up now well all right <laughs> she'll just literally she'll fucking be like i'm gonna go make you a quesadilla and then put on fucking my hero academia <laughs> i don't like this is okay it's yeah. good you know, get a dog, cat. The cat will do that for I'm you. I'm gonna get a cat. No, the cat. The cat will. I mean, it won't be nice to me. It'll be like, I want fucking food. But and I'll be like, you, I guess I have to stop yelling at sad. someone on Reddit and feed you. Which is good. That's good. That's a step in the right direction. It is. That's why I have fish. <laughs> There's not hey, words to react. It could to be saying. lizards. It could be it worse. Could be lizards or snakes. Come on, it could be snakes. And, I could and, get a water you, snake. I'm okay with you having fish because you don't think the fish love you. They don't. No, but people are like, no, my lizard cares about me. Maybe a bearded dragon, but that's it. They act like dogs. They really do. They? do. they do. They right. generally well, do. if you have a spider, you sh- I hope it bites you and you die. What spider would you have? All the venomous dead. Devil- people have spiders. Yeah, I know, but the venomous. Tarantulas, I think they can kill you. Nope. People keep scorpions as pets. Nope. Scorpions that you can keep as a pet can't kill you. Uh, Some of them can. Well, the ones that you're legally allowed to keep as a pet can't kill you. No, okay. No, if you keep a scorpion that's illegal, if you have an illegal, dangerous animal in your home... I'm okay with you then, because you're a cool freak. Yeah. I mean, yeah, fuck the law that says you can't keep an illegal fucking animal in your house. Also. Keep dangerous animals in your home. It's fine. Absolutely. I mean, I get The Tiger it. King wasn't I that get, bad. I get, I get it when it's like a, a... If it's a bug, fuck the government. If you're the one Unless that's going to kill. it's like an kill. invasive species. If it's, like, if it's like a poisonous spider... There, know, there is no... Absolutely no problem with some freak keeping a bunch of dangerous animals in their home. What's wrong is when one of them kills it, kills him, and they get out. Yeah, That's the, problem the problem is them getting out. Or so keeping- we just all the money that we give cops, give them to the Humane Society, and make all animals legal. <laughs> just take care, Alexa. Stop. We should also Alexa because it's an hour forty. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we're gonna call this. Uh, we got really political at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Or throw the ball. I think the title should be put a scorpion in Jeff Bezos' butt. Mm. No, that's just a suggestion. It's not a good title. Right, we'll figure it out later. Uh, we have a live show August 7th. <laughs> we have a live show August 7th. I'm going to be in a new house. We can add one in July if we want to, but I have fucking stand-up dates in July. Just make it that one. Make it August 7th. Yeah, because it's almost already July. Um, but the, the reason I would want to add another is because the last one went so well, I'm kind of excited. But... 
it, we would only have like uh, we it would have to be in two weeks. So I don't know. If we, we'll we'll talk about it later. Um, but there's definitely one on August. There's 7th. definitely one on August seventh at nine p.m. at the Lincoln Lodge. Uh, we are in the smaller podcast studio, so get your tickets now because it only seats twenty five people. Uh, but it's nice, tight, and it fucking worked great. The check out the last live show, the, which that, should be the that show. That podcast studio is it, very much like your mother. It went it fucking it's nice, tight, and it works great. <laughs> uh, link tr.e forward slash Uh We should probably update the donation link we have for this episode just because we talked about so much and we've had that donation link for so long. We'll change it up. Chicago Bond Fund, probably, but you can scroll down in your app and see it. You're in the future. Nice. Um, buy our merch. We have good merch. It's on. First donate, then buy the merch. Yes, first donate, then buy the merch. Uh, if you want free stickers, uh, my DMs are still open. Free stickers are still available for anybody who just hits me up. Um, is that it? There was another thing. Oh, subscribe to our Patreon. Subscribe to our oh, Patreon. Right, yeah. Give us some money every month. Give us some money and we'll continue radicalizing the youth uh, so that this country will suck a little bit less, which is honestly the mission statement hey, of look, our podcast. Someone has to tell angry white guys the right people to be angry. <laughs> honestly. Because if we don't, they'll, they'll pick someone oh, and they'll pick the wrong people. We all know which direction they traditionally go in. We're trying to stop this that. Is, and, and, and by the way... If I don't talk about horse sticks and ripping people's way. arms off, they're not going to listen. <laughs> All right. I've uh, talked to doctors about this. <laughs> you literally have. <laughs> All right. Bye, folks.